Scorpio, hi. So this is going to be a reading for October 18th through the 24th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Now let's see Scorpio. <clears throat> you don't want to come up? Yeah, you do. Okay. Okay, the overall energy for the reading, the Six of Cups. There's a soul connection that's popping up here for you. Um, in the recent past, you get the Six of Pentacles, the Judgment, the Nine of Wands. <clears throat> Kind of deciding that, okay, I'm going to try to make this right, whatever this is to you. I'm going to try to bring it back into that normalcy, into that place of balance. Let's try to do that kind of thing. And I feel like you made that decision. At the same time, I feel like you had a lot of obstacles, you know, when trying to do that. Um, in the current situation, the Five of Swords, the Magician, the Three of Cups. You're trying to manifest a coming back together. But it seems like it's coming from a place of self-sabotage, maybe. I don't know why yet. In the, this could be you, this could be somebody tied up to you. It doesn't have to be you. In the immediate future, the Knight of Cups, the Hierophant, the Three of Swords. Love and pain. Love being expressed into a very powerful situation, but then comes pain. Let's clarify. Let's see what's up in here. Let me see the Six of Cups. Okay. What you're doing? What are you doing? For the Six of Cups, you get the Ace of Swords, the Six of Cups, the Queen of Wands. I don't know why I don't remember my readings a lot of the times, uh, especially after quite a while. Um, I feel like this energy has showed up for you before, for some reason. Uh, there's a soul connection that's popping up here, and I see your energy going towards it, going like, yeah, I want this. Um... I feel like what you're tied up to energetically is something else, though. Hmm. This one feels like it's something that attracts you, it's something that speaks to you, it's something that, hmm, they, yeah, this makes sense, let me go for it. Uh, and I see you having your energy headed towards this. So let's see, the, um, let me see the judgment in the recent past. The Judgment again, the High Priestess, the Knight of Swords. Yeah, you felt like you needed to do this. You felt like you needed to bring a situation into a balanced place. And that's what you try to do. Now let's see the Nine of Wands, because I feel like those are kind of obstacles along the way. Four of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, the Strength card. So the obstacles were... Hold on. My leg is starting to numb. Um, this is quite interesting because the obstacles were... <sighs> okay, so one energy shows up as intuitively they're being called to fix something, right? That takes action. That takes let me do something about something. The other energy shows up in the uh, in the place of I need quiet, I need healing, everybody just leave me alone. I need to disconnect from everybody and everything. That might have been the, the obstacle. Because once you decided, let's say this is you, right? That wants to set things right in a particular situation. Once you decide, okay, I need to do this, you've got an energy that's moving. You've got an action-oriented energy, right? 
you're moving towards an energy that's standing still. So it's not going to respond to your energy. So that's where the conflict comes in for me looking at this. Like, what? what, what? Um, so I don't know what came out of this necessarily. Both energies are justified in themselves. You know, you're doing your thing. They're doing their thing. They just don't go on the same track. Let's do the Five of Swords in the current situation. The Six of Wands, the Lovers, the Ten of Swords. <clears throat> I don't know if this is hope or illusions of something. There is an energy that's popping up here. Of, I feel so good about this connection. It's not even funny. The reality that's surrounding this connection comes in as but this connection is done so it's just you know that five of swords is there to tell me that either if you were to be hopeful then the five of swords wouldn't be here so that tells me that maybe you're visualizing this connection as being like oh my god it's so beautiful it's so amazing it's so and in reality it's not even there uh and you got so caught up that you kind of stayed in that place of this is beautiful instead of sticking with reality and what's actually going on or well there is no or that's the only thing that i can come up with with the five of swords being here as i said if the five of swords weren't here there would have been an or, but let's do the magician. The three of wands, the devil, the nine of cups. That's where it becomes self-sabotaging because I feel like you're manifesting this to come together, to come back together, to come into this beautiful place of happiness. Um, but what you're doing with this is, and I'll wait all my life if I have to. You just placed your whole life on hold with that statement. Oh no, I'm still going to do stuff. No, you're waiting for one particular energy that places you in this energy of not moving. You know? Um, But if it's tied up to a fantasy of it's going to work out and not looking at the reality of things of where things are now, that's when it becomes even more deceptive for you. You know, because you're not hanging on to anything palpable. You're hanging on to a dream. And your life, you know, keeps on going. It's not going to wait for you to wake up from this dream. Um... Let's do the Three of Cups in the current situation. The Wheel of Fortune, the Four of Cups, the Justice card. Yeah, same kind of energy like the past, almost. Same kind of thing. Uh, falling into this place of, I'm willing to wait all my life for this. I'm willing to sacrifice all my life and put my life on hold and wait for this to to fall into a good place uh then the next day but you do carry the energy of d d done um deception uh and happiness they're here too these energies so it's not as if oh you know Scorpio, let me pull you down on planet Earth here because, you know, you're not completely there. You could be heading there, though, because th these are very massive energies. And again, it's not coming in as, oh, I hope it's going to, uh, it's not gonna in, coming in as hope necessarily. Or like a delusion. Because um, you're dismissing the energies of the reality, you're kind of dismissing them. You're like, yeah, I know, but I don't care. But it's done. You know? Let's do the Knight of Cups in the immediate future. Two of Swords, the Death Card, the Ten of Pentacles. Oh. 
here is when you get upset with love and are looking for something practical. Like, I'm tired with love. I've had enough of this. I'm not even going to chase love anymore. I need something that is going to look right. It's going to fit in this world. So I'll just go with that. Settling, really? You tell yourself that. Because uh, I don't really believe you. Problem is, you know, we all fall into this place of um, settling for whatever. Uh, or believing that we're going to do that. But you're definitely in a struggle of figuring out what you want and wanting more out of life in general. But I feel like you're stuck You're stuck on this connection and wanting more out of, out of this connection instead of figuring out that there's a bigger picture, you know, where you don't necessarily want more out of this connection. You may want more out of yourself. So let's do the Hierophant in the immediate future. Four of Pentacles, the Hangman, the Moon. There's a certain amount of stubbornness within you that you're refusing to let this go. And that stubbornness can be found in your shadow side, unfortunately. In the place where you need to de dig very, very deep within yourself to find what exactly is not allowing you to let this go. It could stand in fear, uh, insecurity, uh, all sorts of traumas. I I can't see it here. It's so deep that I it's not gonna show up for me either. It's but you know. And I feel like you will take a stand, step back and try to figure it out. What doesn't allow me to let this go? As I said, the energy that opened up this reading is a new energy that's coming into play. Even though it showed up for you for quite some time, it shows me that there's an available energy that you can play with other than this. But you keep on returning to this for some reason. And the secret is somewhere within you that you're refusing to let this go. For the Three of Swords, you get the Eight of Wands, the King of Cups, the Three of Swords. Ah... <sighs> There's still pain here. There's still pain in how you communicate, what you communicate. It's filled with pain for some reason. Um, I feel like you want to say something. Maybe you want to say what hurt you. Maybe you want to let it all out. But you may be scared because you may feel like you're losing this. Obviously, it's not going anywhere. So, um, first try to figure out what does hurt you in this for yourself. Either you want to talk to somebody about it or you want to let it all out within this situation to be like, okay, I need to tell them that this hurt me, this hurt me, this hurt me. And if you feel that that's what's going to help you, by all means, you know, um, let's see, let's see what the universe has. King of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, the High Priestess. Again, at this point, I can't tell if this is your hope or if there is some potential for this to get into that beautiful place. It's too covered by all sorts of cyclic energy. So I can't tell if this is just hopeful, wishful thinking or if it is... A potential available energy that this could actually work out w with the way it is now doesn't look like it is working right now these energies have to shift some work needs to be done basically uh, on your part possibly on their part too um, but it does show up as again either wishful thinking or um, this has the potential to work out I don't know. So that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.